Welcome back to the channel guys. Today it's going to be a little bit different than most normal video that you're going to see here on Heartland Dual Sport and we're going to talk about customer service for a little bit today because I think that's one of it's a kind of a dying breed in our industry or our, our country. I'm not sure which. You guys let me know down in the comments below what you think but let's get to the video. I remember when I was a young man, I was, I think it, it probably was my grandfather. And I, we went to a restaurant and we sat down to eat lunch. And one of the things that he told me, and I, I remember I was probably a teenager at the time. And we were talking about the waitress and what a great job she did. And one of the things that he pointed out is he said, hey, he said, son, you got to understand this or grandson, whatever he said. He said, you got to understand this. When you go to a restaurant and you sit down to eat, he said, you've got to factor in money for a tip for the waitress because otherwise, if you don't have the money to tip the waitress and pay her for the service, which is kind of what you're paying for when you go in and sit down at a restaurant, you might as well go through a drive through If you don't have the money to pay her, don't try to cash in on the service. So that's just kind of a fun little point and something to think about and something that I always try to think about. And we've all been in times in our lives where we just simply didn't have the money and I would go through a drive through And the times when I know that we're, me and my wife say we're going to go out and treat ourselves to a special lunch or something like that, we're going to sit down and I know up front we're going to, she's, she's going to get paid for her service. Otherwise I could go to McDonald's and go fill up my own Coke or tea or whatever drink it was I wanted. It, it, it just makes sense to pay for the customer service. And here's where we're at. Roughly three, four weeks ago, I had my yearly doctor appointment and I have to go in because I've got some health issues that are hereditary and they run in my family. And it's nothing major guys, so I'm not trying to spook you or anything like that. I'm just saying I've got to go every year. They draw my blood, they check my blood pressure and that kind of stuff. Well, my blood pressure was extremely high. It runs high in my family and that's been something that even when I was a young man in my 20s, my blood pressure was high, but it was extremely high at this point. And so we, she did the blood work and she put me on some different medicine for a couple of weeks and she said, hey, she said, come back in two weeks, let's reevaluate your blood pressure and we will go from there. Okay, so during this same time frame, I got contacted by a lady and she asked me about doing a potential collaboration with her and she has some um, for lack of better words, basically a vitamin type supplement. And if you guys remember back when I was doing the DRZ videos and we was riding the K trail, a uh, guy in Oklahoma city who had a supplement store, he actually supplied us with different like power bars and stuff like that. And I would throw out his name throughout the video. And I just thought, well, maybe this lady's ran across my channel. She's seen some of those videos and thought, Hey, this might be something that we could work together on with a potential collaboration. So back to the, <laughs> where this all comes to customer service and what I want to talk to you guys about today. We've had a lot of bad luck over the last month. Um, ordered a grill, a brand new grill, and I've, I've actually done a video on that where I complained about it because the FedEx guy said that he came by my house and attempted delivery. First of all, the package wasn't one of those where you it even required a signature. I was here all day, he never came by. Then the next thing, I had ordered my wife some glass Tupperware from another company called Our Place. And the UPS guy delivers it. And as I'm walking back up to the shop, I've got a little spot over here on the side of my shop where I open up all the boxes. That way I ain't bringing junk into the shop. The, because the big boxes are gonna go straight in the trash anyways on anything we order. That's just how we kind of do stuff. So <clears throat> every, every piece of glassware in this box is broken. And then, I also, my flags were getting kind of tethered, so I ordered another U.S. Texas, or a U.S. and a Texas flag combo from Amazon. Get a delivery notification that the United States Postal Service says, hey, we've delivered your flags, they're in your mailbox. So I get all excited, I go out and open my mailbox, there's absolutely nothing in it. <laughs> I mean, they're just not there. 
Another package from the United States Postal Service is, is on the front porch a couple of days later, and it looks like somebody's used this, trying to use it like a step stool to maybe crawl up on top of the building. I, I don't know, but all I can tell you is there's a big, huge footprint that goes all the way through the box. Both ends of it are ripped out, and I'd ordered a book and some TV serving platters, and one of the platters is all jacked up. And then... <laughs> <laughs> to, to make it even more fun, guys, I go, <clears throat> I still have to go back to the doctor because my blood pressure's running high and she can't figure out why my blood pressure's so high. I don't know if that has anything to do with the stuff that's going on or not, but I get, I get an email from this young lady and the name of her company is Delta North and she sends me this email and she's like, hey, did you get the gummies? Well, in the meantime, I'm thinking, no, I, I haven't seen them. I don't know where they're at either. The, we haven't got them. And it, I didn't get a tracking number when she sent the stuff to me. So I don't know what happened there. But all I do know is I've got to go back to the doctor. So I go into the doctor and my lovely bride. Um, and I'm going to stop right here for just a second. Okay, so my lovely bride has bought me these, and it's called Energy C. Emergency. Okay, whatever. Emergency. And it's a gummy vitamin, okay? So my doctor tells me when I come back in for the second two weeks, she says, bring all your vitamins, whatever it is you're taking every day, bring your medicine that I've got you prescribed to, bring everything with you. So I just brought in... And she looks at this and she starts laughing and she says, no gummies, no gummies for you. You know that sugar diabetes runs in your family and you're right there on the brink of it. And she says, you, you can absolutely not be eating any gummies of any type. So, I told you to behave. <laughs> so right. So in the meantime, we've still got packages that are displaced we we didn't get them i'm still missing a check i'm missing a a bunch of stuff guys i'm sorry it's and i don't ever want to do a video where it sounds like i'm complaining because there is a point to this video and i'm going to get to it now and that is customer service which is kind of how we started the video out to begin with but here's the deal the our place send them an email and say hey looky here um all the glassware is broken over a course of three or four days emailing back and forth i sent a video of me opening up the boxes because i mean you can hear it when you it, everything's broken every piece of glassware was broken and long story short after about a week she sends me an email and she says, hey, we're going to get this corrected. And she mailed us some new dishes, which I thought was absolutely awesome. Back to my grill. I get it all put together and I'm taking it out there and getting ready for my first cook. Well, I set out some concrete blocks because I didn't want my grill sitting in the dirt where my other charcoal grill was. And when I go to lift it up, I break one of the knobs off to the vent. So I send them an email and I'm like, hey... I would like to buy this part. I know that the reason it's broken is my fault. Um, the reason that I didn't get it for two or three days is FedEx's deal. And, it, and I didn't even bring that up to them because it's not their fault. They just mailed it through FedEx and the FedEx guy does whatever it is he does. I, I don't know. That's on him. So, but the great thing when we're talking about customer service, um, they said... Get, uh, is it the right or left side? I tell her it's the left side and the next day I get an email with a tracking number and she's shipping it to me and, and free of charge and I mean that is just outstanding amazing customer service. Now back to Delta North. This young lady, she's, I, I have to send her a message and I'm like look hey I, I apologize I don't know what happened I never did get the stuff but she's been so nice and so kind trying to help do a collaboration with us with our channel on the gummies that she offers. Now, unfortunately for me, and I believe the gummies that she sells are a CBD and it's to help you sleep, get better rest so that you can concentrate. 
I would never take a sleeping pill if I was on a motorcycle trip and, that, and that's just something I'll throw out there. But either way, great customer service. And, and she offered to send me another package, another sample pack of the gummies. And I said, you're, you're not gonna believe this. I said, please don't. And I said, after this whole fiasco between all the shipping problems that we've had over the past basically month at this point, because I'm still missing stuff, I also found out my doctor said, I'm not allowed to eat gummies, period. Um, she has changed my diet, if you will, trying to get my blood sugar in check. Part of that's gonna be me trying to lose weight as well as trying to get the blood pressure in check. And I think we're almost there, guys. And again, this isn't a story about me and my medical problems. It's just more of a story about customer service and how unlikely it is that a lot of products and it doesn't matter if we're buying them for our motorcycle or what we're buying them for i truly believe there's a lost art in customer service and i couldn't brag on these three companies more than i already have and, and like i told the lady i i'm sorry it didn't work out i'm sure that your product's great and i would love to help you and i can and i even told her i said look i'll, I'll do a video for you about your company and talk about your customer service because I can't do a product review on a product I didn't get. It's not her fault. She did everything that she could to try to help do the collaboration. And again, the same thing with PK Grills. No questions asked. Send me the part. Again, with our place. Our place is the name of the place where we ordered our dishes. They're absolutely awesome. We finally got them. We got them replaced, all the broken ones. And that was very kind of them as well. So again, guys, let me know in the comments down below because everything happens for a reason. And I think it was by the grace of God alone that I didn't get the gummies because it could have messed up my blood sugar and I didn't even know it. And, and we always, it's easy to get frustrated about something at some point in our lives. And then if you take a step back or maybe another week or two down the road, you're like, Okay, well, that's why that must have happened that way. And in my case, I can honestly say I believe it was the grace of God. We never did receive the gummy bears or gummies or whatever it was for her company. And it's just a great testimony to the customer service for three different companies. And again, I'm not going to name the other companies because I'm still missing products. And I'm hoping that those end up getting here too because one of them I, I really kind of need. Um, again, guys, we appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes. May you have a blessed week, and let's go ride.